where girls give you eye service and fan service by Jiggle or whatever else. Where only the coolest of LPers have no shame in actually screaming out attacks. This is Super Robot Tyson J. Last, last time, remember, we just got the Granteed. And with the Granteed, that means asses shall be handed. And oh, the asses shall be handed. So now that everybody is without a doubt among kick ass does, let's move on. We have episode 3. And skipping all the dialogue, I'm just going to tell you where we are right now. We're still upon Narishiko. And of course, I'm just going to skip through all this. Because really, the story is not as important as the battles. Because all you need to know is the battles will somewhat lead to a gigantic epic fight in the end of this whole series. So we get a call, and this is... This, of course, as you see, is all our units are taking off in battle. They're still in battle. Of course, we know that Esavalis, Mausinger Z, Combatler V, and even the Grand Teague are still amongst the fighting. And of course, where we are now, we're about to land in another battle. Of course, if you don't know what this is, we've landed on the world, or in the not world. Yeah, world. Whatever. We landed in between another series known as Aoki Yusei SPT at Aizna. Otherwise known as Blue Shooting Star SPT Elite or Meteor. I'm pretty sure not most people actually remember this show, but it was an old show in the 80s. One of those hard to see shows, but we're actually going through some dialogue considered with the Lazner team, and I do believe the kids were called the Culture, the Culture Club. I guess they were called the Culture Club. I don't know. Of course, our team. Our team is uh, AG, which is the guy in the blue hair. David, which is also blonde. And Oas, which was the guy in the glasses. So we're stationed here on this planet. And 
which I think we're going to be heading into battle pretty soon. In the background, I'm watching Dune. So, therefore, not much is really going on in my in my life right now. Considering that it's 12:30 Wednesday morning, and part two is still being uploaded. See, that's Roja, or Ro Roas, or Rowan. Rowan, that's his name, Rowan. And the blonde guy is David, and that's AG. So, we have the Nazi on this planet, and we're about to face off against a few of, of the, his nine enemies. So we have 12 units to actually choose from. We go at 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Wait a minute, actually, let's do this. Let's change. Let's see, I can I can do some changing while I'm here. There there's a way to change these, so I'm going to No. Change, there we go. Okay. From the OG frame we're gonna have No, not that. This is our land frame. So we're going to switch to land frames. Because it's always a good idea to change from OJ to land frames. Especially if you're going to be on a certain point. On you, on an, if we're gonna be on a dis, uh, on different planets and whatnot, trust me, it's a good idea to change frames. So we have our land frames. So now we can do this proper. Properly. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 10, 6, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Tend to be his brother-in-law, and I believe Costello attacked and and what happened was his people. So I mean, something happened. I mean, he was supposed to marry his sister, namely Julia, which you will see here. I believe I'll show you who Julia is. Julia is right here. This is Julia Alberto. This is um, Aji's sister. Of course, this is Gail. 
namely his best friend. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all our today's nine units to the front. gonna wait for them. Of course the back row will not be attacking. Rather the leaner units, but the the other units will be coming toward us. As you can see. This is why I feel smart. I let all the good units actually come to me instead of me going to them. This way we bring the fight to them. And at the same time, gain a couple of quick levels in the process. And the theme song is Lonely Way. Yes, I know there's a theme song. I can't remember the words. I can only remember a little bit of it. So therefore, yes, it's going on record. I know the words. I just don't have the print out of it. And this is Roaz Mech. Or Roaz Ladies Night Unit. Yeah, this is for those who don't remember that many Super Robot shows. This one for you. I've actually seen part of the series. But the thing was, I never saw the rest of the series because it got taken out before I got a chance to actually get into it. And I remember I saw the um, series at... Um, I actually did see the series at um at a previous expo, but I never did get it. Ever since then, I've always been wanting to get at this series because if you ever seen what it looks like in my room, I have a lot of anime. Despite everything else, I have a lot of anime. I like his combo. So a lot of known anime you will see here throughout this run. Aside from the ones you've seen, namely like Gundam, like all the Gundam series from 0079 to Seed, you'll get to see a lot of that here, but you won't see, um, the Gundam units, you will see a whole lot of seed, since that was the, um, the most populous one. Oh yes, let me show you the difference between what the OG frame does compared to the land units do. 
Actually, this is what happens. You get this nice, sweet attack. But the arms retract. Cut and bingo. They extend and retract at the same time. And of course, lots and lots of damage. Oh, another thing is, while we're on here, I think it's safe to say that I'm gonna follow the rule of not interfering with another series as far as the as far as me doing this let's play, this multi-part let's play is is concerned with. Because it just doesn't feel right to me, okay? So that's why. So we're facing a lot of SBT and body units. Very few Jovian battleships. Of course that is nothing new. These are all AI units, so therefore, not much to really show. Except for this. Charge in! Uppercut! And a double punch. That's just nasty, you know? Now the one thing you need to know while we're going through this mission is there's a reason why I'm not sending out that many units. Because there's going to be a certain battle that will take place from the anime and it will have everything to do with AG and Gale. Now about AG, he's a half breed. He's half Earthling, and I forgot what the other half of him was, but father was an Earthling. His mother was of a different of a different breed of human. You know, just like so many others, so many other characters that have been around during the earlier earlier parts of space anime. You know, totally different from, you know, the new types you've seen in the Gundam series, you know? So what we're going to do here I want to show you how bad ass this move it actually this move actually is after it's been powered up a bit It 
it's that damn powerful. And yes, you have another subpilot. I believe her name is Tenia. Are they're just that they can only do land attacks, but that doesn't count them from, from not doing air attacks. Let's take out these other SPT units. Hey, go ahead, excuse me, because I am closing my door. My latest has clothes you're going to get with clothes. Seriously, I need this door fixed. This door hasn't been fixed since, um,. It went down some weeks ago, or some months back. No, I'll stand by. Although, I thank you for offering, sir. Of course, this is a... I think one is a... This is a laser missile. I haven't shown this one, so I'm going to show it here. Your laser gun. Oh, it's just beautiful. Of course, from this angle, I can just basically shoot from here or something. That's how Yes, she can still shoot from this angle, which is awesome. Nipple missiles! I forgot about you. Or did I? Chodenshi! Yo yo! Of course, you'll get later units. Which I'm not going which I'm not going to say at this moment, but you've already seen You've already seen what we've been facing so far. Oh 
Oh yes, and later you will get the option to upgrade Dore's now. But that won't happen until much later. So, so during this run you will see a whole lot of um, anime that pretty much been forgotten. So, what I'm going to do is, as EG, I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to wait my turn right here. So, as my ship, I'm going... As the blue earth, I'm just going to start blowing these Jovian assholes up. tell you what's next after this one. Nipple missiles! Titty missiles! That's right, I said it. Titty missiles. Fire the melons. Oh, you think that's something? Just wait till she gets her second model. Funny as hell. I think they just take full advantage of the team ups. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, it happens in the same way for any version of Super Robot Tyson, but this one in particular, they really, they really push the bar on this one. Your D-field has no effect, sir. Sadly, you must be destroyed. When I say you must be destroyed, I mean, you must be destroyed. If, then, if that doesn't kill you, it will damn well hurt you.
Time to blow you up. Your deep field is useless. Although, like I said before, I do not mind the feedback I get from this. I mean, if it's too too difficult on my end, I'm just not gonna mess with it and just gonna keep playing. Oh shit, guy! Oh damn! The show you can have power, ladies and gentlemen. The show you can have power. And that is the reason why guy is that damn awesome. Yeah, that made me wanna. <coughs> Just do unnatural things with your mech. I think this happened before, but I think I saw a, a YouTube video of a scene where a guy actually breaks a freaking mech with his own Estevalis and attack just like that, but I think it was a little bit more explosive than that. Yes, I know there are other versions of SRW, but it's just not as good as this version. You know, that, that does hurt. I mean, if that doesn't kill you, that's gonna damn well hurt. Just saying. Actually, I'm glad I got some feedback from my Mega Man LP. Or rather, my Mega Man 2 LP. I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody who has ever played any of the Rockman games or Mega Man And the coolest part, then you should know the coolest part about the series is the fact that, well, you can actually experiment on every one of the robot masters with their own weapons. Why am I mentioning Mega Man? Because aside from that, there have been only another robot war that I know of, and that's the Transformers. And yet, I'm sorry to say, but there hasn't been a good Transformers game since. I mean, I'm sorry, but even War on Cybertron, I'm, a, a, as good as the series is, I'm sorry, but it lacks that one thing that the Transformers really need. The fact that you can actually play through the game. 
And I don't want to hear no comment about, oh, but you know, you haven't, you haven't played uh, War on Cybertron. I'm not saying War on Cybertron is terrible. I'm saying what they do to the Transformers, they never gave them a proper series. Therefore, if you don't give the series a proper... Okay, this is convince, of course. Because you can attack, but you can also convince just to get an extra ally. So we're going to try to convince... To, we're going to try convincing Gale here. We can also try to convince um, Julia, but I don't think at this stage it will actually work. So actually what we're going to do here... Is we're going to get rid of these godforsaken SPT units. These other units. But yes, like I said. The Transformer series really hasn't gotten that much, um, you know. It, it has been a proper, there hasn't been a proper game since. And say what you will, but. Maybe it's me. But I would like to see a proper Transformers game being done right. And I mean based off the 80s. Based off the 80s cartoon. Not the movie. The 80s cartoon. Because I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. For me, it's not going to work. Oh yeah, we can resupply. Either AG or Ron. Let's resupply AG. And resupply is great because you can get a lot of experience out of it. So, I will say, if you are playing a Super Robot Tyson game, always, always take advantage of that. The resupply command, because it will give you some mad experience for it. So we're almost done with the first half of this battle. And Izumi gains a level. And we're gonna take out this Bata here. Go for in the dash, the strike. And the spin kick. So, a question to anybody who is actually watching this LP. But, if it were up to you, and you would make your own Super Robot Tyson game. What would it be called? And what units? Rather not units, but what series would you actually put in Super Robot, the future Super Robot Tyson game? Oh, 
shit guy. We know what's gonna happen. This, this, and two oh, you can That's badass. But yeah, so I'm serious. If you were to make your own Super Robot Tyson game, who would you have featured in it? I mean, would you have original generation? Would you have anime? I mean, I want to know what's your take on it. So while you guys think on that, I think it's time for you to see the most awesome attack ever known. Especially coming from an original. <clears throat> we got another jiggle action. Oh shit. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. It's going to be. <gasps> shit. God damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. That was. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, damn. And this is why I say I choose this one. I choose Granted. Because there's so many things you can do with that and oh man. You know what? Let's shoot down that Jovian ship. Yes, we're shooting down the Jovian ship. Oh yeah, trust me. You're gonna love this multi-LP. I know I'm getting some hits off that. Some good views off it, so. I know I'm getting a partnership bonus because of a, of this being a favorite series of mine. Should be a favorite series of mine. Should I have the entire collection? I think this is a, yeah. Regular unit. Yeah, I'm following the rules. Do not mess with nobody else's storyline. The only exception would be the lackeys. I'm making the lackeys the only exception. 
But otherwise, apart from what I'm doing now, I'm not going to do anything else. thing with a V-laser. V-laser! No more Jovian ship. Let's settle this. Send him being my ass. Stand still, you ass. Cause this might hurt. Yeah, he's not going to move for a while. Of course, I do not want to do anything else. I just want to let this guy actually... Sir. Oh, you're on counter on me. Okay. If that actually connected, but I don't think so. I don't even like basketball. Why is this on? out. And she's gonna run. And on the far end we have Costello. He's a terrorist. He's a bad guy. And he's behind all this madness. So, all units. Well, actually, laser units. Get closer. 
We're not gonna move. We're just gonna let them come to us, as always. Trust me, it is always good to know this. Whenever you have more, more of these units coming out, remember to hold your ground. Because this way, you can do this. Line them up for a map attack. And blast some sons of bitches out the water. Downed. Defilled. But still, it hurts. Now, of course, the, the Mark II will be a bit stronger because you will have the VMAX unit. It's not really much of a spoiler, but just to let you know, when the VMAX speaks, everyone will listen. And why is this on? Sorry about that. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Because I hate what's coming on TV. It's 1 a.m. Nothing's really on TV. Yes, this is time for anybody who's ever loved anime, who's ever loved Super Robots, to come on out. I mean, the views are great and all, but I'm curious as to how many people who aren't ashamed to say that they love Super Robots. I only know of at least a few people and I get to, and I hear them say that Go Line is the best they've ever seen. It's a shame that the only version of Macross I've actually seen on this is Macross 7 and not Macross 1. Really, I mean, the. The Macross 1 cast was in um, alpha, the Alpha series, I believe. And so is the Edeon and... The Edeon and... The um, Genesis Evangelion. Better man. And most recently, Orgus was added to the cast. I believe Orgus was brought in, I think, in Z. As well as, um, Overman King Gainer. But 
that's just me. Ayang Tata! Mousing power! Yes. When you get a certain power up like that, that is a that is a power up after you reach a certain level of will. So what you saw there, that's mousing mousing power. Certain power up. I personally like, but you know. But yes, you will see a whole lot of units, especially in the most prolific of ones in the Gundam universe. Even though it's from a different timeline, it's still a favorite of mine. So, no hating. No hating and no hazing. Thank you for the refill. Oh yes, you can also, if I was Toya, I would have XL, which of course in any Super Robot Tyson game is a great skill to have. Only time they will actually target my, I mean, that's the only time they will actually target my mothership. I'm not saying they don't target enough, but that's the only thing that we, they will target, because, like I said before, if the mothership is destroyed, game is over. Doesn't matter what what battle it may be, and it doesn't matter what mothership you actually have, because you will have plenty. See, now they're targeting the mothership. Oh, come on now. Really? Do you know what you will gain from targeting my mothership? Missiles up your ass! That's right, missiles up your ass! You get blown up real good, sir. Blown up real good. Who else? So the game decides, okay, fuck all the rest of your units. We're going after your mothership. You know what the 
Gnade Chicos ist. That's what another Chico says. That means you will get your ass firstly handed to you. says to me but that's the fire This series will also point out that this is the last time you'll actually see Mazinger as is. Because after which, you will not see Mazinger the same way after this one. And I'm not seeing the new Mazinger series. Shokeki Zen. Really, I need to take a break from doing these Let's Plays and just... And just watch some anime. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that in May. May, quite possibly... After I've done this and then Lunar, I think I'm just going to do two in, for this, for the coming month of April. I'm just going to do the Lunar series. If I actually have time to finish all this early, and I do mean early, then Popful Mel is a big maybe. I do mean it. Powerful male's a big maybe. Because of the fact that it's an action RPG. And not to mention the fact that I'm not really going to be doing that much talking because there's a lot of talking in that game. It's gonna be like um, one of the possible times I'm just gonna share my experiences with my earlier years of gaming. So in April, expect something different and something new. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just wrong. But you know what? So is that.
we know this battleship is gone. Even with the D field up, it's gone. Quite possibly the best, the best show on, in 80s TV was pretty much Family Ties. It was the best comedy, best comedy ever known. I mean, it was, I say that because, it was funny where it needs to be funny and it was serious when it needed, when it needed to be serious. So, it, by far it was a good show. It's one of the finest shows during the 80s. So yes, I am watching TV and playing this game at the same time. Clearly multitasking! Also, I was drinking a soda, so therefore, multitasking! And I had a burger before that. Which, yes, I cooked myself, so... Only when I need to, but anyway. A cherry Dr. Pepper. Full two liter. That's what I'm having right now. Although, it pales in comparison to the ultimate soda for any let's player black cherry or root beer or even my personal favorite Mountain Dew not none of those new flavors I mean the original Mountain Dew Soon I need to get myself a new headset or a new mic. Now if I get a new mic, it's just gonna be like somewhere on this desk of mine. try and shoot down my mothership again. And that's what happens when you try and mess with my mothership. Well, since I'm that close, I might as well just move here.
I'm gonna pretty much say this. When I go to AX this year, I expect to see a video of that too. Showing you all the ins and outs of where I'm going and whatnot. Or at least where I can and where I can and will tape. Coach Sugar Bean! I have not shown the laser missiles. Three powerful laser missiles. Destruction, ladies and gentlemen, the nipples of destruction. Because every woman has the nipples of destruction. Just be wary when you start sucking them, guys. Just make sure they're not full of jet fuel or some TNT. Make sure they're not full of arsenic and lace too. Oh well, I've got to say I've got the funds, but that's okay. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, really, just not. There's nothing else left. It's just you, Costello, and the 13 Owens. Dude, no. Seriously, no. I got your laser missile right here, bitch. Bets are off, motherfucker. You don't taste laser. You don't taste laser. And eat fist. Wait a minute, no. On. I gave you. 
missile, I gave you a laser, now I give you fist. Oh, and that's a critical too. Look at that. Bow, get the fuck out of here. You have been disabled, sir. So, this stage is clear. So that means all our all our units are going to be in pretty much tip top condition. So I'm going to be skipping through all this because really I don't need to read all this. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up. Actually, I'm going to war point, so... Oh yeah, and it doesn't matter which subpilot you have, they will all score the same type of experience. So that's a good thing to know. units. Mobility, please. And it's just me, or does this... Or does, or does this laser unit look like Blodia from... I forgot. Slime or something. I'm gonna call it like this. Doesn't, doesn't it remind you from Blodia from Full Metal Madness? That's what it looks like to me. That's about it. So, like I said, what you're going to see is a whole lot of things that you should not be seeing, but you're going to be seeing them anyway. And I got another um, email coming, so... So the theme song is called Lonely Way, or Meru's Yoni Lonely Way. You know, like run like run like Meru's. 
It was an anime once, based off an old story, Greek mythology. But anyway, I think I've carried on long enough. Because this area is done. And I'm going to stop the video here. Next part, we're going to take on something different. But yet something very familiar at the same time.